Hello everyone. So at coding community we are back again with Sparkathon. It's a hackathon by Spark AR in which you can participate and build amazing AR effects. And there are amazing prizes from coding community for the winners of the hackathon as well as all the participants who will be submitting their effect will be getting a certificate, a verified certificate from Spark AR and Meta. As we all know, Meta is a parent company of Spark AR. So you'll get you'll be getting a verified certificate from Spark AR. So make sure to participate in this hackathon, submit your Spark AR filter and win amazing prizes from coding community. So first of all, uh, you can register for the hackathon right now and the la deadline for the registration is 25th July. So if you just click on the register button, it'll get to know about the challenge. So there are two challenges here. The, these are the two themes in which you can make your AR filter and you can choose any one uh, of these themes and you can create your filter. We'll be sharing a video which you can follow to uh, like create your filter and how to submit your filter in, in our dashboard everything we'll be sharing in that video so stay tuned in this video we'll be sharing everything here then uh, first of all you need to register here so I'll click on register here you need to sign up with your uh, email account so I'll sign up with mine all the details you can just click on register now So here, uh, once you registered for the hackathon, you can sign in with your account uh, since I have already signed in. So now here, this is the option to submit your idea. And here, uh, will be in this video, we'll be attaching another video by my fellow mate. And uh, she'll be introducing about, about Spark AR, how to install Spark AR in your system, how to create your filter and how to submit your filter. So stay tuned in this video. And also you can uh, just open YouTube so uh, if you are beginner you don't know how to like create a spark AR filter it's, you can just refer to YouTube you can just search on uh, YouTube how to create a spark AR filter and there are a ton of videos there you can follow that tutorials and make sure to create your own uh, effect like it should not a copy of any YouTube effect so make sure to like uh, make it and modify it according to your choice and the theme of this hackathon so it should be unique uh, so that it will be qualified for the hackathon and uh, yeah you can refer to YouTube videos as well as we are attaching a video uh, in this video so yeah uh, let's jump into that video and these are the prizes for the hackathon for the uh, first winner we'll be having a smartwatch and for the second winner we'll be having a gaming keyboard and mouse and for the third winner we'll be having a uh, airpods so make sure to uh, submit your effect because if you submit your effect you'll be getting a verified certificate from meta and if you are like among those top three winners we'll be receiving amazing prizes from coding community so yeah that's it uh, register for the hackathon stay tuned in this video for the uh, how to like create your spark AR effect so we'll be attaching that video today i'm going to guide you all through the necessary steps that you need to follow in order to make an AR effect and submit your idea and reality hack so firstly, you should all have uh, AR Studio, Spark AR Studio installed on your systems. Uh, link for the same uh, is just given in the description below. So without any further ado, let's get started. Here you can see uh, right on uh, my screen, here's the first window that comes up when you open Spark AR Studio. There are a few predefined templates that you can use as a beginner to start with for making your first year effects. Um, I'll be just using a simple background filter over here. I'll just use this template. Yeah, so uh, this, is, uh, this is the window that comes up when you just choose a template and this is a stimulator that, that will be uh, displayed right here. 
so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a simple background i am going to delete this one uh, which is predefined so it's nothing here i'm going to add an asset i am going to just add a simple texture uh, and import it from uh, my local system so i've saved a few here i'll be using this one say so yeah the texture uh, has been uploaded here it's just getting compressed as you can see uh, on my screen it's getting compressed here uh, for the background we can just move to the materials and here right in the properties we can choose this texture as background to get this effect uh, you can make a few changes i'm just going to make it simple uh, since we are uh, we the main motto behind the video is to get you guys uh, you know just give a demo of how to publish an ar effect and how to make a submission basically so in the meanwhile as it is getting you know compressed i'll just add a text over here say i'll write Merry Christmas. So you can place this text. This is 3D text that I'm using here. When I click on this, I can just move it anywhere I wish like. So I am say placing it right here, okay. And I am gonna change the material here. Oh, it's using material zero, so I can change the color here. I can use any. Okay. Oh, I'm playing a little over here, but yeah, so I'm just going to keep it simple. Just Merry Christmas and a simple background here. Now, uh, the main thing, what, are, what we are going to do is just publish this effect. So uh, right at the bottom uh, right corner of my screen, you can see a publish button and you can get this also from the file section here, publish. So we'll click on publish and there are uh, two things that we can do if you are uh, submitting your uh, submitting a new effect. So you have to click on publish a new effect or maybe you can use just you can uh, update an existing effect. So I am going to publish a new effect here. This is the demo video section. Uh, this is optional, but you can record the demo video from here and uh, save, save that in uh, .mp4 format and use it when you are uh, publishing the effect on Spark uh, AR Hub, I'll just move uh, to that part uh, in just a few minutes. So it is done, it is being compressed, the file size is fine, all of it is fine. So I'll. Uh, there are basically two ways, either I'll be uploading it, if I'll upload it, I'll be redirected to the Spark AR uh, Hub in the browser window, or what I can do is just export this project file. So, I am gonna export this project file, say Christmas background, maybe. Yeah, so this file has been uh, exported. Now I'm gonna move to the Spark AR Hub. Uh, the link for the Spark AR Hub uh, will also be there in the description below. So I'm gonna publish this effect right here. Click on the publish effect button. I'll give a, it a name Christmas demo. Here you have to upload your project file if you're gonna just directly upload it via the upload button there, it will uh, directly be imported here. But you can do that explicitly as well like I did. So we can publish it on all the platforms, Messenger, Instagram, Facebook, all of it, or we can choose specific platforms. Uh, I am gonna just publish it on Facebook maybe and Messenger. So yeah, uh, here what 
I have to do is I have to select certain categories, say selfies, appearance, sci-fi, any, any you can choose according to the filter that you have made. You can select certain keywords so that it appears in the searches. That is uh, all up to you. Uh, here, like I told, you can record a demo video and upload a file here. So you have to choose file and upload this file here in the demo video section. In the upload image section, it is basically the thumbnail that will appear uh, when uh, when a, some uh, person is using your effect. So the thumbnail image is basically the icon. So that is it. But if you want to publish it, say privately, so on only on Facebook, so I'll select a link only button here and I don't have to specifically then include a demo video. But yeah, of course, I can uh, include uh, an icon here. I'll do that. Yeah, so I'm choosing any image right here. Yeah, so yeah, you can see that this is the thumbnail icon that will come up when you choose the icon. So yeah, we are good to go to publish this effect. Okay. I can choose another one. I am gonna publish it now. Uh, it may take a few seconds depending on uh, you know the file size for uh, the project file that you have uploaded so once it uh, gets uploaded you'll be redirected uh, to the dashboard again so the effect has been published you have published your first year effect yeah so here so here what you can see is this window which has all of these things and now we are gonna move to the second half of uh, of the uh, video where i'm gonna just tell you about how to submit your uh, idea some things first is the uh, effect id you'll get the effect id when you'll click on these three dots here and when you click on a copy effect id this is the spark air effect spark air effect id that i'm talking about okay you can just copy it from here from a uh, test on device section you can get a, a spark ar effect link which you can use and just test it on your local devices on the same link can be uh, obtained from this share button here so this is the same we registered i am uh, redirected to uh, the uh, the signed up dashboard here so i'll uh, submit an idea i'll edit an idea or maybe submit a new one since i'm already uh, using this i have made an effect on christmas i'll se select the challenge for christmas i'll fill in the details then i'll move on to adding a uh, effect link i've already copied down so that is there i can get the effect link from here as you can see i'll paste it here from the three dots here, I'll just copy the effect ID and I'll paste the effect ID here. So here we can just upload a screenshot of uh, the effect that we have made. Uh, you can upload it via the simulator, the image, or you can just test it on your device, take an image and upload it here. So that is it uh, that you need to submit an idea and yeah, you can submit an idea from here. So yeah, I hope I've covered both the things and it's uh, pretty clear. I'll uh, reiterate once again on the effect ID and effect link. From here, you'll get the effect ID and from here, you will get the effect link. That both of the things that you have to use in the submit idea section. So hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe this channel and share about this a hackathon among your fellow mates uh, make sure to sh uh, share this video and thanks for watching bye bye